Last night I arrived in Veliko Tarnovo, which is the old capital of Bulgaria. And um, I will give you a tour now of the city. I hope it will not be as long as the previous tour from uh, Sozopol. So yeah, let's get started. I'm actually staying right in the middle of the old town and this is where I am right now. As you can see, straight into the tourist street, all the souvenir shops, the craft shops, everything you need, it's right here. I'm trying to get away from the busiest street here because it's very noisy there and uh, this camera doesn't have the best microphone but as you can see here we're in one of the many alleys that you have here which are absolutely gorgeous medieval style the old town is filled with them cobblestones old traditional houses you can see the electricity cables as well which is really cool i will just keep going down and veliko tarnovo is actually the old capital of bulgaria uh, before it became sofia they changed it to sofia because sofia was more central well, it used to be more central in Bulgaria, uh, but Bulgaria lost a lot of land, so now it's not really central anymore. But yeah, that's another story. That's what I always love to do the most in the old towns, is just get lost in them, walk around until you don't know anymore where you are, then you just use Google Maps and navigate back to where you need to be. That's what I usually do, that's what I'm doing right now. Well now I know a, bit where, a little bit where I am, because I was here yesterday and actually this morning I did a walking tour, a free walking tour, well it's tip based, so not really free, but uh, it was really interesting tour. If you want to do it, um, it's every day at 11 a.m. in front of the tourist office. It takes about two hours and a half to three hours. And uh, you can hear some interesting stories about Veliko Tornovo. So yeah, absolutely recommend it. Um, let's continue this way. Oh, and about these things. These things right here. Finally, I got a clear explanation. Well, somebody on my YouTube channel commented as well that these are actually obituaries uh, from people that died and it's like a memorial kind of thing uh, that they leave here. Um, I think it's 40 days from what I heard. They leave it. So people, uh, spirit is like kept alive in the neighborhood. In the villages, it's mostly on their own door. So on the door of the people that used to live there. But in the cities, it's more like on a wall or on an old door that they collect all these uh, yeah, these flyers, basically. So yeah, these are people that passed away in the recent history, probably. It's kind of nice thing to do, actually. So you don't really forget about them. And as in any old town, there are lots of lots of guest houses.
the old town is really filled with beautiful spots. And one of the major tourist attractions here is the fortress, the Tsarevitz fortress. That's where we're heading to right now. Not sure if I'm going in right now, but I will show you from the outside for sure. Maybe I will go tomorrow uh, because I'm staying here actually three nights and I already had one night. So two more nights. Yesterday night I was here as well and uh, there was a guy claiming he was an archaeologist and he showed me his coins, silver and bronze coins from, I don't know, a few thousand years, no, a few hundred years old. He wanted to show me uh, and he wanted to sell me, well give me he said, but I really don't believe anything from what he said. His name was Ivan or something and he was yeah, explaining that he was working with a professor from Harvard and all these things. But he was right here on the square where I'm right now. So maybe I will see him again. Because I'm pretty sure he's a scam artist or something. Trying to run a scam against me. I don't see him around right now. Probably he's trying to scam someone else at the moment. It was really uh, weird. Alright, I think this concludes the tour of today. Maybe there will be more tomorrow, maybe there won't. So maybe this is the end of the video, maybe it's not. You will see. And we have made it to the monument of the Assen dynasty. This was raised um, as a memorial for the four brothers that uh, liberated and made Bulgaria more powerful about 800 years ago. And it's quite impressive actually. And funny story, the monument was raised during Soviet times in 1985 and because uh, in Soviet times crosses were not allowed on statues or on murals or whatever, so they, the sword that you can see is planted uh, with the handle on the bottom instead of the handle on top because otherwise it looks like a cross. And there's a bit of a peculiar story around this monument and actually below the monument Apparently there are tunnels and uh, caves and basements um, where they used to torture people during Soviet times. There are several uh, people that have been interviewed that were alive during that time and they hear the screaming all over the, yeah, the city I guess. If you're looking for a bit of shade during the hot summer days in Veliko Tarnovo, you can come to the park uh, Sveta Gora and uh, it's right across the monument that we just came from. Well, one thing I can tell you when you enter the park, there's a huge, a huge set of stairs. You can't see them all, but it goes all the way down. And I'm, I'm not even there yet, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I got my training for the day already. It seems though that the set of stairs was definitely worth it for the view. So, currently on the way to the Tsarevets fortress. Um, yeah, I was doubting if I should go or not, but what would a visit be to Veliko Tarnovo without visiting the, visiting the fortress, which is like the main attraction here. So, I will visit it anyway. I heard uh, mixed uh, feelings about it, mixed reviews. So, we will see how it is. But I know it's pretty much uh, zero uh, buildings are original. Everything is rebuilt which doesn't mean it's really bad, but yeah, let's just go and have a look and see uh, if the vibe is right and if it looks nice. So yeah, let's go. Hello, uh, one ticket please. Ten. Ten? Where do you come from? Uh, Belgium. Here you go. Thank you very much. All right, got my ticket. Time to check out Tsarevets Fortress, 10 Leva.
Hello, sir. This uh, one? Samu photo, photo. Let's go to the tourist hotspot of Veliko Tarnovo. So it seems like the first tower here was uh, renovated in 1932. I read it in German. I don't see any English sign so far. Hopefully there are some because I don't understand so much German, so we'll see. Now once you enter the fortress, it's actually quite huge. It's like really, really big. It reminds me a bit of the Spitz Castle in Slovakia. And there are quite some nice views over the, the city of Veliko Tarnovo. And it actually started raining, which is not really great to visit a uh, fortress that is mostly outdoors. But it's not that much yet. So let's just climb this tower. And the whole town is looking like it's foggy right now, which is kind of cool actually. Let me show you. So we reached the main attraction of the Tsarevets fortress, which is the church on the top of the hill. And from what I heard in the, in the speakers, there is also an elevator somewhere with a scenic view. Not sure where it is though. They say behind the church and I'm behind the church right now. So hmm. trying to find it. So this seems to be the door towards the panoramic elevator. It's two left entrance, I'm not sure how it works. It's automatic, there's somebody there, we'll see. And it's closed, okay. <laughs> Never mind, I don't know why they announced it in the speakers if it's closed. Panoramic elevator, not open anymore. So this was pretty much it for the tour of the Tsarevets fortress. Uh, the church is quite nice. The wall paintings are almost like graffiti. Looks a bit uh, strange. I mean, for a church, usually it's more colorful as well. Um, but it's still quite interesting. So that's definitely the highlight of the whole Tsarevets fortress. And if you can't get enough of fortresses, there's also Trapezitsa fortress, which is right across on the other hill. Um, I think there is a bridge that connects. Well, I'm pretty sure there's a bridge. This it's a different uh, ticket So this is not included in this price uh, And there's also a stairwell somewhere from the old town from what I heard I don't know exactly where it is, but there is one So yeah, you can uh, visit fortresses all day here <laughs> Now let's go back down and uh, let's see if we can find Ivan the scammer the coin scammer at least I think he's a scammer, but I don't think uh, an archaeologist would be selling his uh, ancient coins uh, for a few little euros on the square in front of a, a fortress. That sounds a bit uh, hmm, fishy, so definitely not real coins. <laughs> I saw him already each day, always in the evening, so I guess he will be there again. <laughs> 